Hi guys, it's Oliver here, and today we'll be looking at two mods, namely the Pegasus Horses mod and the School of Witchcraft and Wizardry from Harry Potter. Now first of all, these are the Pegasus Horses, obviously, and uh, they're located here next to this stable close to Whiterun. And oh, look at that horse ass. Holy shit, that's a quality ass, guys. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate uh, the horse with this one. So that one there has a horn, this one doesn't. But it's a very new mod, so uh, the author hasn't added these uh, the flying effects for the wings. And it can't fly anyway, so that's still gonna be in the next update. But it does have this really cool uh, jumping effect. Whoops. Like that. Yippee! So that's pretty cool. So uh, it's, it's basically, if you're bored of the standard horses in Skyrim, definitely give this mod a try. Or if you just like, like these horses, as I do, because, uh, th yeah, th they look really nice. Oh. He's shaking, no, he doesn't think he looks nice. Wow, whatever. They're pretty cool, I think. So uh, let's move on to the next mod. Alright guys, here we have the next mod, which is the School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. And as you can already see, it's gigantic, okay? So uh, I have, I'm going to first show you guys the outside area and then uh, one or two inside areas. And now this is pretty cool. I found this on the top here, kind of like the, the clock bell of the of the whole tower except it's a blue ball and uh, over here we have the main building so this is where all the um, all the main things are located and most NPCs uh, this is another part of the main building and we have one two three towers four towers actually all of which you can enter and explore uh, the main building you can also enter and explore which I will be showing you guys pretty soon but first of all let's go see what's up here so this is actually the Quidditch field, and Quidditch is the game they played in Harry Potter, if you guys watched it, where you sit on a broomstick and you have to score through these things. So that's that's really cool that the author remade the whole uh, this whole kind of field area, and you can also enter these towers and just look here, I guess, if you want to do that. Um, now, okay, first of all, let me show you here. There's a secret ladder, and this leads to a pretty special place. Alright, so this is that special place, I was saying, and as you can see, it's kind of a dark forest, so that's also a theme from Harry Potter. And you can see all these spiders here, and wolves, and over there, right there, is the mama spider, or the queen spider, I'm not sure what you would call her. Uh, kind of the boss of this area, so these are all her minions and her fighters, I guess. Uh, but this is basically an area where you can just fight, it's a very difficult area. Um, and yeah, basically explore the theme of Harry Potter a bit more. Alright, this is one of the towers, although keep in mind they pretty much all look the same. And as you can see there was a sitting area there. And basically the tower is just a whole array of sitting areas and uh, areas you can sleep or eat or, you know, just general activities you can do. Um, but it's, it's a very tall tower, actually all of them are. And over here you can see this is the, the main sleeping area. Sometimes there's NPCs over here as well, but if we go further up, we'll find another NPC here, so you can talk to them a bit as well. That's pretty cool. And over here we have a whole group of NPCs, I don't know what they're doing, they're staring at each other or something. Um, but still, it shows there's, there's a lot of NPCs, the author made a lot of them, and uh, kind of a magic area. So every tower looks pretty much exactly like this. Now I'll be showing the main, the main building. Alright, this is the main hall, and as you can see, it looks just like in Harry Potter, all these huge sitting tables over here. Um, and here we have an exit to Skyrim, and the same on this side, there's an exit to Skyrim. And on the top here, we have a little stairway, which I will hack my way through, there we go. Which leads to this pretty cool ancient looking kind of tower you can uh, study. And on the bottom, we have a huge corridor. Now this has these weird bubbles on the top, which looks really cool though. And in this corridor you can see it's huge, on either side it keeps going. Um, but they're basically just like these rooms with classrooms, and often there's an NPC here, you can talk to them. Um, and there's a library on the other side for example. So this really shows how huge this mod is, it's just endless, endless rooms you can explore and you can uh, see. Uh, but that was pretty much it for the main hall. Um, I think the rest of the towers and everything else I won't cover because that will be that will really take too long. But at least you guys have a good idea now. So uh, don't forget the links to the.
to all these mods are in the description below. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more of these Skyrim videos.